Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. So, welcome to System Shock 2. Now some of you may have never heard of this game before. That's because it was a game from 1999, I believe. And others are probably wondering, why am I playing this game? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it was one of the best games that's ever been made. Purely because at the time, it was way ahead of its time. Okay, the graphics don't look much now. But at the time, 15 years ago, you know, they were cutting edge. And just the way this game plays, I mean, simple things like repairing weapons, modifying things, uh, having um, data recordings, all these kind of things, they were all sort of new at the time and weren't used in a lot of games. This was the first game that I can remember that actually used this sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Let's move on and see how it goes. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Okay, now I've done training in... I've obviously I've played this before, but um, I think I can still remember how to use everything, so we'll skip before the training. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some... If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advance. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Right. Well, I think OSA is um, psychic stuff. Marines is guns and heavy stuff. 
Navy, I'm not sure. Um, might be technical stuff or something along those lines, I'm not certain. We'll go Marines. Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island and you'll be briefed on what's ahead. When you find the right posting, Head into that bay to accept the assignment. Good luck, Marine. I mean, when you think of the modern standard of graphics cards these days, and when I first played this, I played it on an old, um, I think it was a 64-bit card, and it played, you know? So, um, yeah. Now we're coming up to... an area where we're going to choose basically what it's going to do is give us skill points in certain things so if you just look to the top left and I'll just shoot through and pick one if you're partial to spending time with a lot of the Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of not if the Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of IO if you're partial to spending time with a lot of high explosives this posting is free So we gain two strengths, which is okay for the Marine. And we do it again. A tour of duty aboard the Antigua should let you pick up some... The automated asteroid ore facility in JM-432 supply the UNN shipyards. Dummy ammunition, live ammunition, moving targets, stationary targets, live... And we've got two standard weapons again, being a marine. Now if there's anything you ever want to read any time, just pause the game. The UNN Secretary General's office needs a full staff of armor. The Pelides trading station has long been a haven for the black market. The colony air service gets the dregs of the fleet. And the Antigua is the dregs of the dregs. Okay, and we just got a repair to be able to fix our weapons.
Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to... Move! Take cover! system of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by. Okay, so as you saw before, these are data logs. You will find these throughout the ship, and they will tell a lot of the story. And this is the big thing with this game, originally, was its story. So... Yeah, I will play these as we find them and go through. And these are our upgrade points for all the different things we need to do. Um, I'd like to get the hack one because that is useful to start with. Now there has been a couple of... I have added uh, textured texture pack and like an upgrade texture for the models as well because obviously the originals were very blocky just to improve his looks so let's get this show on the road Somebody let me out. I can't find my card. 
Please report any 
That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the end. Each deck has a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. game you can't get rid of all the enemies. Even if you kill all of them on one level they still travel around the ship. This is Xerxes. Remember, the unauthorized use of Even firearms aboard the Von Kron is a class 3 infraction. Fortunately, I will be rebuilt. Although you do lose nanites each time you get rebuilt. And I don't have much health. So I'm probably going to die again.
Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? So, we need to get that door open. What we'll do first is we'll stop back here. Just get some upgrades. Okay guys, I think I'm going to stop it here, and when we come back, we will take the power cell over and head into the other section. See you then. <laughs>